Hello, I'm Mrs Lever and today I'm going to talk to you about one of the subject options that you've got going into Key Stage 4, which is the ECUDIS WJC Vocational Award in Hospitality and Catering. So, let's have a look at how the course is structured. There's two elements that you will be assessed on that will determine your overall grade. Unit 1 is a written exam paper. It takes an hour and 20 minutes to complete and it's worth 40% of your final grade. Unit 2 is a centre assessed task that is set by uh, WJC. It will take approximately 12 hours to complete and that is worth 60% of your final grade. So let's have a look at those units in detail. So unit 1 is all about the hospitality and catering industry. It's worth 80 marks. In this unit you will gain an, a comprehensive knowledge and understanding of the hospitality and catering industry including the provision, health and safety and food safety. So there's going to be lots of elements that you've already been studying in Key Stage 3 that you'll be able to use effectively on this course. Topics in include hospitality and catering provision, how hospitality and catering provisions operate, health and safety in hospitality and catering and food safety in hospitality and catering. Now it's really important to remember that this is an exam unit and therefore there is no practical that is linked with it. Then we've got Unit 2, which is Hospitality and Catering in Action, and this is worth 60% of your final grade. It's assessed by a centre assessed task, so you will have a task that will uh, be set by WJC, and it will involve you doing some research on that set topic, and there will be a practical exam that, will, that is linked with it. So in this unit, you will gain some knowledge and understanding of the importance of nutrition and how to plan a nutritious, nutritious menu. You will learn the skills needed to prepare, cook and present dishes and you'll also learn how to review your work. So topics that are covered will include the importance of nutrition, menu planning, the skills and techniques of preparation, cooking and presentation of dishes and evaluating your cooking skills. So again, there's going to be lots of elements of, of, uh, that you've been studying in Key Stage 3 that you'll be able to use effectively on this course. So where will this lead to? So this qualification will prepare you for further learning or training in the hospitality and catering sector. It provides progression to lots of other level three qualifications. You may be looking to do this course if you're interested in becoming uh, something like a dietitian or you're interested in becoming a head chef, a kitchen porter, restaurant manager, sous chef, waiting staff, a barista, butcher, baker, pastry chef or chef de partie. If you've got any more questions about the course, then please come and see me or drop me an email and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions.